starting off with that beautiful waterfall. So here's your drive up area here. This home has lots of character. Screened in porch. Of course if you want a garage, you've got the workshop, shed, storage shed at the end here. Just depends on how you want to use the property. Huge screened in porch. We are moving so excuse the boxes. We're only a few minutes from downtown Weaverville here. About 20 minutes to downtown Asheville. And you're only four minutes from the highway. You certainly can't hear, oh, I certainly can't today hear any of the highway at all. But you're only four minutes away, which means it's an easy trek. You know, sometimes you've got these windy mountain roads. You're not dealing with that here at all. Extensively remodeled. So here is a bedroom up here. I'm going to show you anyway with all our boxes. It's a deep closet back there, a walk-in closet. Can you tell that this home was remodeled by a landscape artist and an interior designer? Big picture window at the back here. Imagine having your holiday dinners at this table. Beautiful remodeled kitchen, floor to ceiling cabinets in the back corner there. All the appliances are two years old or less. You've got the four door refrigerator, the one with the drawer. You gotta love the drawer. Very new KitchenAid dishwasher. The island is staying. It's a crown moulding. There's a full bath here. Look at the charm in this, the beadboard on the ceiling. So funny, I'm seeing so many ultra modern houses right now, which I really like. But when I come into a home like this, it has such great character. It's, it feels warm and I just, I just want to hang out here. Maybe your friends will stay too long. Here's the smaller bedroom with these wonderful bookcases. Some of the furniture is negotiable if you're interested. And we've got two ways into the master. You lately see the laundry room. There's a laundry room downstairs as well. Here's the back, your little deck off there, and that goes off to the little waterfall feature. I love this tile on the floor. Separate closet, which is always nice. Well, some people like a separate closet. I like a separate closet. Who cares about me? This is your house. Double vanity here. Marble. Beautiful cabinetry. Jet tub. And a separate shower stall. Isn't that cool? Really good size master bedroom. You can see it's deep enough to have a sofa in it. And this goes around to the room that we saw. We haven't finished in the bedroom yet. On the way in, this is where we walked in to the front door. So see you've got the two ways in. Take a quick tour in here while we're here.
really, really good size nester. Lots of built-ins here. To be, of course. And then, ta -da! Walk in closet. I'm still walking, I'm still in the closet. And then, you have the newly added laundry room. Isn't this a dream? Got a window at the back, you've got the transom windows at the top here. There's your hook up for the washer dryer. There's also a hook up for the washer dryer downstairs as well, so you can have two sets. This really is perfectly set up for Airbnb. So there's your master bathroom there. We already came back around this way. I just want you to get a feel for the flow. This is to the low area. Look how beautifully these stairs are finished. I think that's called traditional American or antique American, this sort of mid-brown stain that goes with everything, like wooden dark wood, you've got the grain in there as well. You see the crown moulding is throughout here. There's, so it's a sp split bedroom plan. You've got a bedroom here, a bedroom in that corner. You've got the full bathroom. I know I'm redoing a little bit here, but I'd really like you to get an idea of how it all flows. Uh, large size dining room here. Really good size kitchen. Of course, we have all the measurements in the floor plan for you, or we should have by the time you're watching this. Little area, your coffee area over here, back into the master. Uh, this is the laundry room, the top back here. You're on just over an acre. The storage room back here. I hear a woodpecker in the background, I love that. And then you've got a large barn slash storage shed slash work shed here. Beautiful screened in porch. Starting to hear the waterfall in the background. Feels very, very private. Could be set up perfectly for an Airbnb. Going in on the lower level here. Put your mini kitchen down here. This is such an inviting home. Isn't this great? We have a laundry and an office room behind that wall there. We also have a laundry upstairs, so you can take your pick for the laundry hookups. We'll keep both. We have four bedrooms. It is a two bedroom septic. That's when you get originally get the permit how many bedrooms are noted on the permit. And it is two bedrooms on the permit. It's very common here to find that, where bedrooms have been added over the years. So you have full bath down here. That's why on the MLS, you will likely find it, depending on where we're waiting on the permit coming back. So 
If it is the lower amount, as we think it may be, we will have it listed as a two bedroom. And you're probably confused, especially if you're in Kansas, going, what are those crazy people in the mountains? Listing it as a, saying it's four bedrooms in the video and then listing it as a two bedroom. Well, that's why, because we have to list it per the permit. Now, we're in the process of moving, so ignore all our boxes. This is a tiled floor down here. Here's your hookup downstairs. You also have a laundry room and hookup on the upper level. Your friends may stay way too long with this beautiful setup. You have a Dutch door as well. Right here, going up the stairs. You can see these are beautifully finished. So you can just open the top of this door on here if you like.